Right, so this is a video I've made of myself fixing my Korg uh, O1RW rack mount. And uh, when I bought it, the backlight wasn't working. It doesn't really show very well in this video because it was very light. This is the new backlight that I bought from eBay for £15. And I'm just going to go through the process of how you do it, basically. It was pretty simple. I've never done this before. So just take the screws out, as I'm showing here. There's uh, two on either side, plus you've got three in each rack mount here and two on the back panel there. And then again, on the other side, it will be two screws and three in the rack mount here. The first time I've done this, I've never done a back screen repair before, a backlight screen, and I've never taken a screw out of an O1R before either. So um, I'm kind of just making this up as I go. I took about half an hour to do this. I sped the video up for obvious reasons, so the video is a lot shorter. Anyway, so once you get inside, it's just a case of taking out three screws on the top. And then there's two on either side that hold that front panel on. So I took those out. So something I don't do in the video, you could actually take the plugs out, the step with taking the plugs out, there's six plugs connected from that front panel. You could actually do that before I actually do, but I was just methodically just going through it and trying to work out what I'm supposed to do as I went. So at that moment, it felt like, you know, trying to work out how the screen actually frees from the unit was, was where I was looking first. So that then brings me to where we are now and the front panel is now loose but it's still attached via the, the six looms that come out of it into the main boards. So you can sort of free the front panel like I do but you have to be quite careful and then just rest it whilst you take the cables out. There's four of the cables that are on the actual main board. They're straightforward to take out. The plugs are just you know just regular plugs there's nothing tricky about them some of the simplest plugs that i've i've dealt with when taking anything apart so you take those four out and then the next part is at the back of the board there's a power board you've got two cables that's the power for the backlight and then I believe that's probably the power for the main board and front panel. So you take those two out as well. This allows you to free off the, the front panel completely now. So you can lose the back part. And the black part comes off quite easily. But try and do what I didn't do. I, I forgot to take the uh, slider button off of the value slider. So as I took it off, it pinged off. Lucky enough, it didn't disappear that I'd lost it. So that's one to watch out for. So once that's off, it's pretty much just a case of two screws that hold that circuit board with the screen onto the main front board. So you undo those two screws and it kind of locates. So I sort of fiddle with it a bit and it sort of slides and locates into some locator slide parts. It's pretty easy to straightforward. There's nothing too phasing and now you just have to thread through uh, two of the cables that we disconnected earlier from the main board because they're connected to the screen. So it's obviously like the data cable and the power cable for the backlight. So these are where the power goes to for the, the back screen. That's that gray cable. So you just need to unsolder these two. So I use, as you can see, a screwdriver just to lever up the uh, the tab as I unsoldered just helped free it off a bit and did that on both. Now I was under the impression I would be able to just sort of pull the backlight out. It appears my one it was sort of fastened in probably with a bit of glue or something on the back and I don't show it on the footage but I couldn't I couldn't get it out so I just cut the tabs off 
and I found the reason I took that route is because I'd offered in the new backlight and it felt like there was more than enough room for it to slide in without removing it so it's not going to make no difference in my opinion so that's it the new one fully pushed in and it's just a case you just have to make sure that you've got it around the right, right way obviously which is is you know it's, it's pretty easy to work that out my one had a like a screen protector on it like you get on a mobile phone when you get a, a new screen so you just peel that off and then and then slide it in and then solder up the joints so yeah it's pretty simple the the, the the job's pretty much done now apart from just the reverse process of reinstalling it back on the on the front panel and um, and then putting it all back together and testing it So at this stage, I've got the panel and then I'm really, I sort of switching it around and looking. It, it has an actual arrow that I show in a minute, just there, that shows where the top of the screen is. So it kind of is a bit of an aid. It just stops you putting the screen on uh, the wrong way up. Um, it's, it's nothing phasing. It seemed, seemed pretty logical. Uh, anyhow, so put this, a couple of screens in. Uh, the screws in sorry not the screens so that's got the screen in now and it's just really a case of just you know reversing the whole process of of what we did earlier so i'm going to leave the the, uh, the chat there hope this video helps anyone that's going to undertake this sort of job just a disclaimer i'm not responsible if you mess your own machine up whilst following this this is just the way i did it and i just thought it's interesting to share you know, to maybe let someone see how easy it's, it's a relatively, I mark it down as pretty easy. If you've just got basic soldering knowledge, you should be fine. Anyway, so I'm going to leave, uh, leave it there. And thanks for watching and uh, hope it helps. Uh, the music on the player was made entirely on the O1R. I just made that especially just to fill out the rest of this, this uh, video. So enjoy it.